Welcome to the second part of module 2. Let's learn about Thevenin's theorem and how to solve problems based on this. So, the Thevenin's theorem basically says that if you have a number of voltage source, current source, resistance, etc., all this can be replaced by an equivalent circuit with only one voltage and one resistance in series with it. So this is how the theorem is stated which we have to by heart. So let's do a problem based on this. So you have to determine the current through the 24 ohm resistor by applying Thevenin's theorem. So verify the result by using mesh analysis. So, in order to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage, what we have to do is open circuit the element through which we have to find the response. So, this VTH is same as the voltage across 12 ohm since it is in parallel. So, it is current in 12 ohm into 12 ohm value and we get current as 10 divided by 2 plus 12. So the final answer would be 8.57 volt. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Next we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH. So as the theorem says replace all current and voltage by its internal resistances. So if it is a current source we have to open circuit it and if it is a voltage source we have to short circuit it. So here we short circuit the voltage source and we get 2 ohm in parallel with 12 ohm. So the net resistance would be 1.71 ohm. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. We have to draw a simple circuit with the Thevenin's voltage which we calculated in series with the Thevenin's resistance. Now calculate the current through the 24 ohm which we had open circuited in the beginning. So the net current would be voltage divided by total resistance in the circuit which is 8.57 divided by 1.71 plus 24. So the answer would be 0.33 ampere. Now we have to verify the result using mesh analysis. So the same circuit you can do mesh analysis. There are two meshes in here. Write the equations and solve for the current I2 which flows through 24 ohm. So that we will get the same result as 0.33 ampere and therefore the result can be verified. 